His name is Pat, and he buys crap every Saturday and Sunday. You'll know where he's at. Take a guess, it's Flea Market Madness. Oh, yes, it's Flea Market Madness. And me, Frank. Welcome back, everybody. Will today be a flea market madness or just flea market sadness? Get it? I'm gonna show you her uh, magazines. Uh, the Nintendo Powers uh, do 50 cents a piece, except for that one on top there, a uh, dollar. Awesome! Nintendo Power and other magazines for 50 cents each. And a sweet NES player's guide on top! That's from 1987 and acts as a directory for just about every NES game that was released up to that point. Oh, I got a Virtual Boy game. Yeah. What do you have, Uh, five. You can't really see it, but this seller has a single Virtual Boy game, Tellero Boxer, which is strange to see at all. That's a pretty cool action figure guidebook. The same folks also put out ones for G.I. Joe and Star Wars toys, which I own. How much on the action figure guide? Uh, a dollar. Jeez, not another Darth Vader head action figure case. This is probably the 10th I've found in Flea Market Madness episodes. This one is filled with figures. Wow, what are you asking for this? Uh, 75. And he's asking 70 bucks, which is not a terrible price. Here are some SNES games. Weapon Lord, Battle Clash, Battle Tank. And Gods isn't one you see too often. 40 for this one, and 75 on that one. Do you have any little uh, figures? You know what? I don't have them? There was no figures with them at all. Gotcha. This is a little 3 and 3 quarter inch guy. Yeah, the little guys. Them. I had that G.I. Joe battle platform as a kid. It's back in Jersey in my parents' attic, rotting away. There's Breakthrough and Joust just hanging out. There's an N64 system in games, and then a black Sega Sports Dreamcast. Those are uncommon. What are you asking the Mario Party? It was like 20 bucks for the last time? Uh, 27. 27? <laughs> you went up. Star Trek RPGs? Oh, I want to imagine I'm Kirk and Spock! Here's an Aura Interactor vest. I saw one a while back. Maybe it's the same one? Uh, how much? 20? 20 bucks. Not bad if it's complete. Survey says it is. Yeah, that sounds like a fun time. Hey kids, let's stick our heads in the deep fryer! Here's some newer G.I. Joe figures that have the same packaging as the original 80s ones. I guess Retro's in. Fester, I found you! Wordtress, Super Nintendo, in the box, Dragon... <laughs> How much are the games? You yeah, know, just grab all of them, man. I'll just I can't do all of them. Robotron, maybe. Uh, how about a uh, Robotron 64 and the Godzilla Game Boy? Uh, I'll give you eight bucks. All right, cool. Discover the mysteries of science. Slice open your hand and examine the blood cells. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, for your Atari man. These games are all selling for about fifteen dollars each on average. Uh, uh. Here's a yellowed NES controller. I can't even fake enthusiasm. There's a boxed PS1 and some decent NES games, including Tecmo World Wrestling, a favorite of mine. Say your prayers, toitles. Stop staring at me, 007. Finally, not a Dreamcast console, but the games, yes! Tiger! Tiger! Do you feel the swap meet spirit, Frank? Hey, no. Two dollars a piece, thank you. I can't hear. Oh, two dollars a piece. Need some local honey? You still have some local honey, right there. Yeah. Forty-five bucks for the system. If that includes Turtles 3 and these other games, that's not an awful price. What the hell? This stuff was not here with the Interactor before. And there's an NES, Genesis, Xbox, and other crap. This is why you walk through a flea market more than once. 
Nice. A Sega Saturn memory card plus card. This is why I get up 6 in the morning. Woo wee, here are some older computer games from the late 80s and early 90s. I'm all over these if I can get a good deal. The seller's asking 5 bucks each for these. The only question is whether or not I get a few or all of them. Eh, for now I'm just gonna get three. Boxed in television games. As interesting and as valuable as dirt. Alright, how much are in the games here? Ten dollars. Ten each. Ten dollars each? Well, what? Holy shit! How about ten bucks for all of them? I got a couple movies. What'd you get? I got the original Nosferatu, the silent one. Alright. And I got the haunting, the original one from the 60s. This is uh, really scary with hardly any or no special effects at all. Psychological. And it's, and it's terrifying. Uh, yeah, the remake was terrible. They it's all are. Mishmash of uh, special effects that aren't even scary after a while. Part one. A random Toe Jam and Earl? T two of them? What? Why? I can't pass that up. The Pantry Seller! Oh, all the price stickers. My eyes and head hurt. This guy wants me to take this bin for $25, which includes a couple of GameCube systems and a Dreamcast, but honestly, I don't have the room and I don't want to deal with it. Whoa, a Sega Saturn game and not a sports title. I have most of these Atari 2600 games, but definitely not Spy Hunter. That's tough to find. How much are your Atari games? I want 20 for all of it. 20 bucks for the games and the system? Ah, eh, sure, why not? That's worth it probably just for Spy Hunter and a couple of other games alone. What are these, Frank? You know what these are in my hand? Is that what they are? What? They're Atari games. Oh. Well, I can read. <laughs> so those are video games from the year one. I was right. And how much, what would the guy tell you, the box for four cents or something? <laughs> that and the system in your hand for 20 bucks. That's, yeah. not, that's not an 8-track player, that's a Atari. Yeah, I know. I know, I know that. Before you go to the store, you call me and we'll coordinate on what we got. Alright, we got that pie still unless you ate it. Oh, I... Little piece, I took. Well, what the hell? It was staring me in the face for a week. migration season so I might want to go down to uh, Cabrillo or wherever and look for birds rather than do this. Breaking my heart Frank. Much more fun. Breaking my heart. Well, I'm 